I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to have you here with us in Marrakesh. Tell us a bit about Yurt. What can people expect from the film? Hi, um, my name is Nehir Tuna. I am here in competition with my film, Yurt Dormitory. And uh, I'm very excited to be here with my crew, uh, with my actors. And um, this is the first time uh, we are screening a film in an Arabic-speaking country. It's important for me because uh, we we have a lot of Arabic uh, scripts and uh, language in, in the film. And it was the first time uh, when I was watching it today that I kept it in my mind that, okay, this is being understood right now. Uh, that was not the case before. So it was uh, extra exciting in that sense. Um, it's wonderful to be here. And can you tell us a bit about the story? What can people expect when they watch it? It's a story of uh, Ahmed, a 14-year-old boy uh, who is put into an Islamic religious dormitory by his neoliberal religious father. And uh, we follow him uh, while he's uh, navigating between uh, his father's expectations and his own growing pains and eventually finding his own voice. And can you tell us a bit about the characters you each play and how you prepared to play them? It was a really nice process for us and also being in here for, for the first time in Morocco, it's really nice, we're really happy to be in here. Uh, for the character, um, it wasn't easy, it was an easy movie and the things that Ahmed just leaves is not easy, that's why we just maybe rehearsed for like two years. Um, it's just a little bit help for me, but we are happy for the results, I think. We are happy for being in here. Yeah, uh, my character is Ahmed's mother. Uh, Ahmed is our lead role, and also it's our uh, author's and director's autobiographical story. So this makes the story more living to me. And when he's struggling, I couldn't do anything to him, couldn't protect him because I, I was having problem with my husband too. This woman has no voice, has no power, has no strength to speak out, even her families. When the mother also finds his own voice, uh, standing up against men, uh, uh, patriarchy, and, uh, 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 and helping him uh, being liberated. And what do you ultimately hope people take away from watching the film? I hope that the film uh, uh, reaches to parents uh, and make them think uh, the consequences of their actions while they are giving, uh, while they are thinking they are giving the best uh, type of education for, for their uh, children. Um, and also I hope to reach uh, younger generation who are having uh, similar kind of generational conflicts uh, within uh, their families, with their parents or grandparents, uh, and, and uh, show them there is uh, always a way. I think we should do whatever we want, whatever we uh, wish, uh, not our fathers or not anyone's um, opinions shouldn't be on our minds. Uh, we have to do whatever we want. We have to be who are we uh, and we shouldn't listen to anyone, even your maybe father. As a woman, you should never give up to take the control. You always have a choice. Absolutely. Well, we really enjoyed the night and really enjoyed presenting the film here. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks for your time. Thank you.